this uh, this isn't a movie. This is a, a war is about to. Let's hold off on the soiree and the party, uh, <laughs> because he's going to attempt to drain the swamp with this group of individuals, which means the fight that's coming back is massive because you are going to, to try to take apart an establishment who has fleeced the American people for generations. Yeah. Senators didn't, they're, these career senators with their gold bars and their closets and their, and their monies and being able to, cousins and first cousins and lobbyist sons getting jobs and places and being pushed to be in charge of energy in China or Ukraine, all of that's gonna come to an end. And you think they're just gonna be like, okay. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's going to be, if he's picking these people, every one of them has an ax to grind. And there's a reason for that, because this is going to be the fight for the American. It's one thing to get in, it's another thing to actually make change. He's got the House, he's got the Senate. So all this is great, and we're all fired up. But if he walks in there and doesn't do term limits in that first week, because that's how you stop all this stuff. That's how you stop the career. You got to hit the term limits, and then you unleash the dogs. And then you find out how much money they've been stealing from the American people. Eventually, the people who donated to the Democratic Party to raise it up to a billion dollars minus 20 are going to be like, they're going to find out that they were being conned by the government, that by the progressive government. So that's not, they're just going to lay down and take it. It's going to be terrible. Pelosi's sad today because she's trying to figure out who she's going to take out first, who they're going to come after first. So he's smart in picking guys like Gates and guys because they're already flawed and they already have their issues, but he's coming for your job. Yeah, it's So it, it's, it's game on. Tyrus is basically saying we're looking at a massive fight between Trump's team and an establishment that's been running the show for decades. He's pointing out that if Trump really wants to drain the swamp, it's not going to be smooth sailing. Politicians, lobbyists, and people with deep connections to power aren't just going to roll over and let it happen. The idea of term limits and exposing corruption sounds great, and it's something a lot of people would get behind. But actually pulling it off is a whole other story. It'll take serious effort and cooperation, even from Trump's own ollies, which isn't always guaranteed. Tyrus makes an interesting point about Trump surrounding himself with fighters like Matt Gates. These are people who are ready to take on the system. But they also come with their own baggage. That could make it harder to actually get things done even if the intentions are there. And let's Burrell the establishment isn't just going to sit back and let someone blow up the system they've been benefiting from. They're going to fight back hard. This isn't just about passing laws or exposing shady deals. It's about taking on a whole system that's designed to protect itself. At the end of the day, it's going to take more than just big talk and big promises to make real changes. Even with control of the House and Senate, it'll take. Strategy focus and follow through, if Trump and his team can actually deliver it, could be a game changer. But if not, Trisk's just being more political drama either way, this is going to be one heck of a fight to watch.